Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi guys. Welcome to another tutorial on Newsoft. So today in a tutorial what you're going to learn is how to successfully install AnyPoint Studio on our devices as well as gain access to Newsoft's AnyPoint platform. So let me just quickly draw up an outline of all the steps we'll be going through today in order to successfully install studio on our devices. First thing we'll do is register at mutesoft.com. After that, after we've gained access to mutesoft.com, we're gonna download and install AnyPoint Studio. The next thing to do is install Java on our systems. And the last step in making sure that AnyPoint Studio runs successfully on our systems, we need to configure some variables in our system as well as make changes to a certain AnyPoint Studio file. So that's it, that's all we'll be doing today. Let's get started with the first step that is registering on Mulesoft. So we'll open up a browser, go to mulesoft.com and once we are inside mulesoft.com, this is what we will be able to see. These are all of Mulesoft's offering here. We won't get into it right now. For now, we're just worried about creating an account on Mulesoft. So for that, what we'll do is click on this free trial button here. So this free trial will provide you access to all of Mulesoft's features for a period of 30 days, including Mulesoft AnyPoint platform as well as Studio. So in this sign-up page, we'll fill up all our details. Make sure to put in all your correct details. And uh, for fields like company, you can make a company of your own. So I just say A, B, C here. No worries. Choose a username and a password and hit accept and create account. And after that, as you can see, you are automatically signed into and to Mutesoft's AnyPoint platform and have access to all of its features. AnyPoint platform by Mutesoft is uh, an amazing resource which helps us in designing, building, publishing and managing our APIs with all of its uh, powerful features. We'll uh, take a closer look at uh, each of these features that AnyPoint platform provides in a later video. For now, let's move on to our next step which is downloading AnyPoint Studio on our PCs. So again we go to Mulesoft.com and on the home page of Mulesoft.com you'll see this products tab. Hover over it and you'll see a drop down. In the drop down you'll see all of the products and under get started you'll see download studio and Mule. So click on that. And make sure that you're downloading AnyPoint Studio 7 and Mule 4. Here we have to select our operating system. Make sure to select the appropriate system, whatever configuration your system runs. Once you finish downloading the file from Mulesoft.com, this is the file that will be downloaded. It's a zip file. So make sure you have a compression software installed on a system prior to this, so that we can extract this zip file. To extract it, we'll right click on it and select Extract to AnyPoint Studio. This won't run for me because I have already extracted the same zip file before and here is the extracted version of the zip file. This is what you get in AnyPoint Studio. AnyPoint Studio needs no installation as it comes with its own application file. It only needs to be configured properly to run on this system. So let's move on to the configuration part of it and install Java on our systems. Download Java, simply look up Java SDK 8 in Google and click on the Oracle site for Java SE Development Kit 8 downloads. This will take us to the downloads page for SE Development Kit 8 with various operating systems supported. So make sure to select the relevant configuration that you are running. Let's say you are running Windows X64, you click on this download button. You click on this button then and download JDK. So in order to download Java SDK, we need to have an Oracle account. In case you already have an Oracle account, well and good. And if you don't have an account, no need to worry, we can create an account right here. So once you click on Java SDK download, this is the page that pops up. And in case you already have an Oracle account, you can put in your credentials here and sign in. Once you click on sign in, the 
download should automatically start for you. In case you don't have an Oracle account, we can create an account right here. Make sure to fill in all your relevant details here correctly and after you're done filling in all the details, click on create account. Once you click on create account, you should get a mail in your inbox for verification of your account. So make sure to verify your account and once your account is verified on Oracle, you can start your download. And once you finish the Java SDK 8 download, this is the installation file that will be downloaded. Make sure to run it and install Java in your system. So we're done with the third step of our tutorial today and let's move on to the fourth and final step that is configuring our system. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up a file explorer, go to your windows disk, look for program files, under program files look for java, select the java folder for the jdk that you've installed in. and then what we're going to do is copy this path. Once that path has been copied, what we'll do is go to computer, right click, properties. Once we are in properties, we need to go to advanced system settings. In the advanced system settings, we'll find environment variables. Click on environment variables and what we'll be doing now is we'll be creating a new variable. So click on new. We'll call this as Java home and the value of the variable will be the path of your JDK that you copied just now. So we'll paste it here and we'll click on OK. But since I have already made this change, I won't be adding it again. Here it is. Make sure you go ahead and click OK and create a new variable called Java home. After that's done, we can close this and move on to the final step that we need to undertake in order to run MuleSoft successfully on our PCs. That involves opening up this extracted AnyPoint Studio folder that you downloaded and extracted from the zip. In AnyPoint Studio folder, you'll see a file with an INI extension. This is it, AnyPointStudio.ini, as you can see. What we'll do is open this anypointstudio.ini file with WordPad. And what we're going to do is make sure that this path is the same as what you copied from your uh, JDK folder. So just paste that over here again. I had already configured this before, but yours might not be the same way. So please go ahead and make sure that VM, the path under VM corresponds to the JDK folder. Right, VM is located right in between plugins and VM arch. So after that is done, you can save the file and we are good to go. So that is all the steps we need to take in order to run any point studio successfully on our system. The next thing we can do is go ahead and open this any point studio. It will take a couple of minutes to load on the first time. So here we are asked to select a workspace. So make sure you select a proper location for your workspace and you can just click this to set it as a default workspace and click on launch. And as you can see, we have been able to successfully launch AnyPoint Studio on our systems by making a couple of changes in uh, environment variables as well as the .ini file. So this is what AnyPoint Studio looks like. It uh, largely resembles uh, the Eclipse interface because it is based on the Eclipse interface. And here we can see the various parts of AnyPoint Studio. This grey area that you're seeing in the middle is called as the canvas. This is where we'll be designing most of our integration. Basically all of our integrations over here will be designed using components that we pick and drop from the Mule palette. This area will be populated with all the Mule components once we create a project. So as you can see this is the package explorer. This is the console, this is where we see the logs of our applications. And that is it guys. We will uh, take a deep dive into AnyPoint Studio and MuleSoft AnyPoint platform in later tutorials. Thanks for watching.